Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to Nopra Player. I'm Ilona and today we are playing The Taste of the Past. And this game has a wholesome story, a little bit of cooking and uh, mini games, and it's about uh, reconnecting with your Chinese culture while navigating a train to the afterlife. It's a uh, Really interesting, I saw it um, on Steam, it was kind of recommended in my uh, discovery queue. Um, has adorable art style, so I immediately was drawn to it. I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so pretty, what is this game? And uh, this game is actually free, it is a very short one though. Um, but if you guys are interested, there will be a link in the description down below uh, to the Steam page, so you guys can uh, play it yourself. Um, so just let's start and uh, see what uh, exactly we will uh, we'll see here. We recommend uh, finishing this game in one sitting. A playthrough will uh, last around 30 minutes. Okay, so knowing me, it's gonna be like an hour or more. <laughs> But it's okay. Um, to ingredients. Soy sauce, sesame oil, mushroom, onions, carrots, noodles, sugar. I don't know what that is. <coughs> oh, maybe that's the book she's reading. Even the ingredient list is uh, indistinguishable. The pages are withered and torn, a uh, proof of uh, generations of recipes passed down. Mom used to uh, prep the Mom used to prep the recipe uh, book. Mom used to prop the recipe book on the kitchen counter as she made me scallion pancakes before class hot pot for special occasions long noodles for my birthday my first birthday without her I beg for the recipe growing up but uh, she always reassured me that as there was mom's secret we used to make dumplings together every Sunday afternoon, dipping our fingers in water to connect uh, the, pal, the peel. <laughs> the first smell of chives as uh, the gyoza hit the hot oil. I can't remember the last time we cooked together. She eventually only put uh, thoughts into her cooking for work potlucks. Cooking for people who've never heard of a uh, cheat chili uh, black bean sauce that never understood our love for yutoza yutoizo i don't know what that is how would uh, medic meticulously dip uh, the dough into congee i'm probably mispronouncing <laughs> all of it <laughs> forgive me please I knew her less and less hearing about her day through uh, eavesdroppings on uh, uh, phone calls. Of course you are not there when I need you the most. Oh, she fell asleep. I can't believe I fell asleep. I bet I missed my stop. Where is everyone? Does it ever happen to you guys? To fall asleep in a in a train on a bus? I can't say that ever happened to me, but that would be so terrifying for me. I don't know why. If I will just like fall asleep and then wake up somewhere, like I wouldn't know where I am. I would probably start panicking. <laughs> It's like a fancy cart. Yeah, that's how we call them, right? In the train cart, train cart. Looks like a fancy 
train card. Grandma? Honey, last time I saw you, you were just a couple of uh, feet tall. I thought it would be it would be years before we meet again. But what's going on? I thought you were dead. Oh, May, I'm so sorry your mom left you too soon. You know about that? What is this place? I found her here, May. Even though it's been so long since your great-grandma died, I still remember it clearly. I saw her everywhere. I kept r r relieving all of those memories I had once forgotten. I understand how you must feel. Wait, mom's here? Where can I find her? There's so much I need to tell her. You will see her when you are ready. Ask about the train, ask about your mom. I'm gonna ask about... Mom, can I just... Click. When can I see her now? Where is she? Your mom is missing you. Have you been eating? You look thinner than I remember you. Why does any of that uh, matter? She is gone and I'm uh, talking to my dead grandma. I have something I must to tell you before you go. Are you going to tell me what's uh, going on? Do you remember the first time you sw sw swam? When I was six, I used to take you to the swimming pool every Friday after elementary school. You complained every time that your mom uh, wasn't there. But she was cooking for us, dinner for us. When uh, when you made it to the deep end uh, for the first time, your mom made you mapu, mapu tofu, your favorite at the time. She loves you. You haven't been here for the past few years. She wasn't there and uh, then. She was there then and she is not here now. She has been there all of uh, your life, even if you don't see it now. You know it's my birthday, right? Where is uh, she for that? I know you must feel hurt, but she sacrificed so much to make sure you were uh, cared for. Moving to America, giving up uh, her dreams. If you want to take on thing from her, it's uh, to love even when no one's watching. But how am I supposed to know uh, she loves me if I don't see it? It's everywhere around you, her waking up early to take you to school, working extra shifts to pay for your art classes. She never passed down any of her recipes though. She didn't want you to worry about cooking so you could focus on school. Take this list and go to the first, uh, go to the fridge. I promise uh, your mom would give this to you. Okay, that's it. And that's grandpa, I guess. It's been a while, May. I'm happy to see you again. Your grandmother hasn't been doing well since your mother joined us. It wasn't her time yet. Can you tell me what's going on? I'm sorry, but not yet. I never thought I would get to talk to you again. You know why they say you will uh, have all the time to sleep when you are dead, but your grandma still wakes me up in the morning to share the latest family gossips. Sounds like her. So you live uh, here? And grandma lives here too? I guess you could say that. How are you holding up? I can't stop thinking about mom. I can barely get up in the morning. Remembering her is a part of accepting that she's gone. You'll remember her when you are here, her, uh, hear her favorite song at the radio or when you see the table for dinner. But it's all hit. But it will all also hit you when you see something beautiful and wish you could tell her. The truth is you will never stop grieving her, but you will learn to uh, celebrate her life by cherishing those memories. I still can't uh, bring myself to delete her voicemails. I tried to remake her food, but the only recipes I found are never as good as her. 
Soon you will learn how to carry her with you properly. But for now I want you to know more about you. Uh, but for now I want to know more about you. I haven't seen you since uh, you finished middle school. How have you been? Talk about that, talk about art class. Uh, let's talk about the art class. He wants to know about us, so... Mr. Uh, Liu, you remember him? Ah, yes, your art teacher. He submitted uh, my portrait of mom to the Mother's Day contest. It will be my first Mother's Day without her. I'm sure she uh, wishes she could see your painting. How is school? It's been awkward. Everyone in class already walks on eggshells around me. I got sent home from class uh, last week for crying. Everyone asked me if, uh, if I was okay and I was like, no, I'm just uh, a kid and now my mom's dead. Then they start crying. So then I start comforting them, even uh, though I'm the one with uh, the dead woman, uh, the dead mom. <laughs> they were like, I can't imagine what you, I would do if my mom died, but uh, I don't have to imagine. I'm going to be reminded for the rest of my life that my mom's dead. Every holiday, when I get married, when uh, people ask what my parents do, Thanksgiving is coming up. And I don't want to see everyone spending time with their parents. Even though mom and I don't even uh, do anything for Thanksgiving. It's the fact that uh, I will know what uh, can never be. And now I'm, bit, uh, I'm bitter uh, about people who did nothing wrong to be to me beside be happy. Your feelings may not be necessarily right, but they're human. Your mom's passing is uh, going to be painful and awkward and selfish, but that's okay. I promise you, you are, you are holding up as uh, any person would. And one day your classmates are going to understand where you are coming from. Take care of yourself, May. We are all, uh, we are all thinking about... We are all thinking of you. There you go. <laughs> Those, uh, the cursive writing kind of messes with me. <laughs> I don't know why I have uh, such a issue reading it even more than like a normal text <laughs> because I already have issues reading like anything. <laughs> okay, the recipe: noodles, mushrooms, scallions, and sesame oil. Okay, so noodles. Okay, so we're just picking up what we need. Mushrooms, scallions, and oil. <laughs> it seems like there's uh, more of our like family members that uh, passed away. Hi, have I met you before? You look familiar. May, is that you? Who are you? I haven't seen you since you were a baby. I'm your great-grandmother. I think mom showed me a picture of you once. Hopefully it was a flattering picture. How are you? I, I don't know. Have you, had the, have you had the funeral yet? It was last week. I took my sister to the mall uh, to shop for a black dress. And it was weird, like... What am I supposed to say when uh, the sale uh, assistant asked me? Looking for anything in particul particular today? And it's not, not just that. Who's going to take me to ni 99 Ranch? Who's going to uh, watch scary movies with me? Part of me doesn't want to be happy because that will mean I've accepted her death. But that's uh, what your mom would uh, want you to do. Be happy. I reconnected with your mother here recently. All she talked about is about was you. Do you want to hear uh, what she said? Uh, yes. She said that she could not be more proud of you. She told me about how your uh, robotics 
uh, club made it uh, to the finals. How uh, boldly you paint your love for 80 music. She remembers all of those things about your life. That's how you know she loves you. I don't... Uh, I didn't know she felt that way. You think that if everyone uh, goes through loss, that they will learn a, b a better way to cope. We have the stages of grief to guide us. But grief doesn't uh, know it's supposed to be linear. I feel like I'm going through the fourth stage at all at once. You can take all the time you need. I wish we had more time so I could uh, get to know you better. But I should let you go. Hi, you must be my great grandpa. You must be May. I need to ask uh, how how is being a teenager in your time? Kind of terrible. Sounds like uh, things haven't changed then. I'm sorry about your mother, but uh, let's get your mind off, okay? We can talk about something else. Anything you want to know about me? What is like being dead or how did you meet the uh, great grandma? Let's ask about the how did they meet? We were in the same uh, high school and we would uh, pass notes to each other. We draw doodles, uh, poking fun at our teacher. When I moved away for the war, we kept in touch through writing letters. I was always excited to see what the sketches she had for me uh, that week. She would uh, draw what uh, my family was up to and I would draw the latest pranks uh, the soldier pulled on each other. Eventually I came back uh, from ser uh, serving and I wrote her one last letter asking her to be my girlfriend. That's sweet, I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't even had a boyfriend yet. I wouldn't worry about that. You inherit her looks. My turn to ask about you. What makes you happy? Going on walks in the neighborhood with mom. Falling asleep to the sound of the rain. Listening to a throwback song in a car. That's good, and the small things are always worth holding on to. I have to be honest with you. I had a complicated relationship with uh, your great great grandparents. You will meet them in the next train car. They're interesting people. It wasn't until they passed that I understood them. After my dad died, I had to pick up his stuff from my childhood house and it was only then that I realized how similar we were. Navigating uh, the, f the familiar roads in my neighborhood, working to provide for my family, wondering what my uh, purpose was. You are lucky you had this bond with your mom. Uh, uh, mom was leaving. Losing her is unlucky. She was barely there when she was alive. You will learn more about your mom as you grow older and you will understand what I mean. The train is quiet. Uh, dirty. Dirty? Oh yeah, dirty. Before you go, uh, why don't you wash your hands before you travel uh, further? Click and hold to wash your hands. I guess we don't want to pass that line. Hmm. Hey kid, I heard uh, you need a ticket to, to ride the train. Uh, what? I'm just messing with you, just something us great uncles do. I'm still confused how this uh, train works. Am I going deeper and uh, deeper in time? Each card uh, housing a generation and, uh, and you, uh, my dear, have reached the best part of the train. I wouldn't take your uh, great 
grandparents uh, too serious though, especially your uh, great grandfather. He's been telling me the same story from the war for decades now. What is my pur uh, purpose here? What are you? Uh, what are those ingre ingredients for? Shouldn't it be obvious from uh, how everyone's talking to you about mom? She left something for all of us to give you. Why me though? Why not dad? Because you are her daughter. For from the day you were born, you become the, her world. Also because uh, having kids means uh, finally someone will uh, laugh at your jokes. That doesn't uh, last long though. I didn't feel like I was her word. Were you a parent? Well, just ask him a question. Am I? You never stop being a parent even when you are dead. When my wife was pregnant, I was terrified. I felt like I should have uh, prepared more, had more patience, earned more money, knew more. But then my son was in my arms and I knew everything was going to be okay. That's what uh, being a parent is, being okay as long as your kid is. Is that how my mom felt? I'm sure of it. Uh, you read every book and uh, consult every doctor and you will still want to uh, feel as uh, ease until your child is safe. I wish mom could uh, see me now and tell me everything is going to be okay. There's still so much I left from, uh, for me to do and she can't guide me through any of it. What's left? Tell me. What do you have to do? I haven't even finished high school. I have to fall in love, get my heart broken, go through an emo phase, find myself, work at the bookstore down the street like I always dreamt of. I have to paint something great than I've uh, ever done before. One day you will do all of those things and we will be here cheering you on. People told me I wouldn't uh, be famous, but look, I'm in a video game. Huh? Don't worry about it. Your mom told me to give you uh, those noodles. You can boil them on a stove before you go. Select the right temperature. No, 110. Why it doesn't work? 110. It has to be like in really specific spot. Oh, now that works. On the middle. Interesting. Okay, a hundred. This is really interesting and and sad. Hi, May. I'm. It's an honor to meet you. I don't don't know how to even begin to pronounce that name must be some uh, not translated or maybe doesn't translate I have no idea your grandmother uh, told me that you were an artist I would like to hear about uh, what uh, what your art what art you do I paint watercolor uh, portraits what have you done recently? I the painting of mom and me. She is the sun and I am the moon. You can't have one without the other. I made it for Mother's Day, but mom never got to see it. You must really care for your mom then. I just wanted her to notice me. I'm starting to think she always did. I don't, I don't know if anyone told you, but I used to paint as well. I wonder who is that? 
or like aunt maybe if he was the uncle maybe she's the aunt or maybe that's our great 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 grandmother i don't think it was saying that on the beginning because she just said her name and that's it i did uh, traditional brush paintings of mountains and trees paintings uh, the only time i feel like my old self no one tells me how I'm supposed to feel. Have you ever written a poetry on your paintings? That's what I used to do in my time. I would do some uh, some writing on my own or use someone's work. I only ever written in my journal. I'm not a poet or anything. How about you try now? Write a poem about painting. Write a poem about moving on. Let's do it about painting. Here goes nothing. There was once a girl whose mother uh, gave her a paintbrush. She saw all that could be on the blank canvas. The sweet uh, whistle of the wind. Sitting on your roof uh, the last night. Von vulnerability a pink sunrise for falling in love too a mother and daughter growing all together she saw that can no longer be a mother who left too early and left too little behind stole all the beautiful colors until the stars lost their light, until there was no warm left. Let's go to the stars, until the stars lost their light. She saw everything she once was, everything she has lost. Are you sure this is your first time uh, doing poetry? Oh. That's it. Pick up the knife and chop the veggies, and put the knife back where you found it. Oops, <laughs> I clicked the off screen. It's <laughs> like, where did the knife go? Okay. Now we, we have the noodles cooked, we have the veggies. <gasps> oh, it's a puppy! Ruff, ruff. Oh, can we pet the dog? Everyone's been talking about you. Um, I'm May, nice to meet you. I heard about your mom. It's going to be hard, but you need to uh, take care of your sister. Your dad is busy with his job. She lost her mom too. She needs her older sister to be there for her. I know, but I'm barely holding on myself. Look, loss doesn't come easy. My mom died when I was five. But your grandma made sure uh, you could have a better life in America. And you shouldn't throw that away because your mom is gone. You need to take responsibilities of your sister. I'm trying. It doesn't have to be much. Just make sure she had dinner and finish her homework. Do you understand? Uh, I guess. You're lucky that uh, you have food on the table. Back in my day, we could only eat meals like yours uh, for, New Year's, for New Year's. Just because you've got through that uh, doesn't mean I can't suffer too. You need to understand that uh, the value of work. Your dad has to pay for your art classes by himself now. Haven't you considered that? But mom uh, put me in painting class and it's uh, one of the only things that makes me happy. Listen, I just want uh, what's best for you. Think about it, okay? That was a little bit harsh though. wonder who that is. Maybe, oh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe the, the, that were, they were the great-grandparents? Um, okay, so what do we have here now? It's like a puzzle. 
let's put the corners first. Oh, are we like um, stir frying the veggies on a wok? Kind of, it kind of looks like a either a wok or a giant ladle, <laughs> but I think that was a wok. Maybe those are our great 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 parents. Oh, sleeping. Maybe I, I should be trying. Can I talk with this person then? You sure know how to keep a lady waiting. Is this the last train? You could keep uh, exploring, but n uh, no one else will know uh, a thing about making noodles. You know how to make the long noodles? You mean long, 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 very long, very noodles? I. <laughs> I'm the one who created the original recipe, but I'm missing one of the ingredients. All I know is, is that your mother told me to give you this. Wood in mushrooms? She remembered. I feel terrible. Of course she did. She's your mom. The long noodles represent a long li life. That's, uh, that's why uh, you eat it on your birthday. This is your mother's final gift to you. A reminder of your Chinese heritage. You can get through this, May. Your mother told me you're a strong woman. Pe uh, people keep telling me that after she died, but I didn't uh, do anything. I just uh, begged the universe, my f my friends, whatever God there may be, that she would come back. I wish I knew her. Uh, where I wish I knew right where uh, Dad's favorite. What on noodles are. I wish I knew how to celebrate my identity uh, like how she did, knowing the right amount of sesame oil to add uh, to wontons. Navigating night night range like my uh, like my home, preserving my culture for the next generation. Not uh, live in an empty house of people who forgot mom as uh, she was. Spirited and wise, who taught me how to hold uh, a paintbrush. But you did do something. You are carrying, uh, carrying on her heritage and uh, taking care of yourself. That's what she would have wanted. What do you want to do now? I want to stay here longer, I want to go home. I want to stay longer. I want to learn more about paintings and uh, hear grandma share stories about mom. I wish I could give you more time, but you need to go uh, get home soon. After you've mixed the noodles, you will, you've will uh, you done all that you need to do. There's a ball at the end of the train. Oh, still cannot talk with this person okay let's go to the bowl and mix everything together remember carefully what I'm doing it's like water I'm confused. We just mix. Oh, okay. Just have to put them in the right order, I guess. I don't know. We did something, the game made sparkles, so I guess it was fine. Oh wait, now we are going this way, or... 
No, okay, we cannot come from the other side. Fridge. Mom? Is that you? Happy birthday, May. I can't believe you're here. So much has happened ever since you left. I need you back. You know I can't leave. But why did it have to be so soon? Why can't you stay for my graduation or be there for my robotics final? I wish I could have stood by you through all of those moments. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never appreciated how you took extra shifts to put me through art class. I'm sorry I don't help dad enough. I'll do anything for you back, please. You don't have to be sorry for anything. Do you remember the first time I made you noodles? You were in the third grade, so small and curious. The store ran out of bean sprouts and you suggested wood ear mushrooms. From then on, that ingredient became our tradition. Our cultural heritage is shaped by these small moments. You've always been a part of that. I'm everything I am today because of you. I never thanked you for making kanji for me when I was sick, or for believing in my paintings. Don't worry. Just knowing that I'll always be in your heart brings me peace. Thank you, Mom, for everything. I wish we could have dinner together one last time. I'm sorry for leaving so soon. You did more than enough for me. You were the greatest mom I could have asked for. May, I want you to keep painting. Ask dad to take you to that new order concert. Live like you did before my passing, spirited and open. I don't know if I can do that without you. I'll always be with you. It looks like this is your stop. I love you. Always. I love you too. Goodbye, Mom. Six years ago. That was so sad. <laughs> I wonder what happened to mom. Like, why did she pass? Was she sick or it was just sad? And like, I wish the game tell us. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. Scoop a small spoonful of mixing uh, to the center. Then use your spoon to connect the wrapper like this. Why I feel like we'll have to do that. But how uh, do we add uh, the soup? Some of the filling will become the soup. All we have to do it. Uh, what we have to do is wrap the rest of uh, those and steam them. Want to try? Okay, the link. Oh, this is so cool. Why not? Oh, I have to put Fredder. I missed that. I wish uh, making those would be so easy. Like in real life, just put, put, and put. Just a couple simple steps. That's perfect. I knew my girl was uh, a fast learner. After dinner, can we go to the pool? As grandma, as grandma, she can uh, take you. But I want you to go with me. I have to clean up after dinner. Please, pretty please. Okay, how about this? If you clean up with me, we can all go together. 
Yes, Grandma. Uh, Mommy said she can uh, go to the pool with us today. Don't go so fast. We have to finish uh, those dumplings first. Where did you learn to make such a yummy food? Your grandma taught me. Who, who taught grandma? Her mom taught her. One day you will uh, you will teach your kids. May I want you to talk to you? Uh, I want to talk to you about school tomorrow. You are starting the sixth grade. All right. Don't remind me. Oh, like or don't remind me. Middle school is going to be even more challenging, but uh, I know you can uh, get through it. I was looking through my stuff today when I found a card you wrote me when uh, you were in uh, second grade. Your teacher had to you uh, all write letters for Mother's Day. You said you were lucky to have me as a mom, but really I'm lucky to have you. I get to have a little girl who has uh, who is the brightest person in every room. As moms, uh, we're always thinking about how we can raise our kids better. If our kids will be good people or smart. Am I smart or am I a good person? Am I, am I a good person? Yes, except when you steal your sister's toys. Like you did with uh, her stuffed koala. Hey, she stole my doll first. You asked the question, didn't you? May, don't forget uh, how uh, brightly you shine. You see word with uh, all this care. Don't let that go. You really think so? Of course. I want you to know how much I love you. It's all. Uh, ingredients, noodles, soy sauce, uh, veggies and toppings. What do I do now? Do I put it in a bowl? Done? Wait a minute, what about the rest ingredients? Okay. Use the sauce to your liking. So how about that too? Veggies. Top it off with uh, some veggies. <laughs> More sky leon. More carrots. More mushrooms. More, more everything. Beautiful. Looks yummy. I went to 99 Ranch the other day, my first time there without you. Did you feel emotional the first time you came to America? You must have been so excited to find an Asian supermarket and not just one exotic shelf in the grocery store. I walked past the aisles, the lychee jellies you used to buy me as a kid, the grandmas gossiping at the produce section. All those times I used to sneak Hello Panda in our shopping cart. I didn't know what brand of Udon to buy. I tried to call you, but you couldn't answer. Then a lady came up to me. She grabbed Udon off the shelf and told her daughter, this one is my favorite. And just like that, I knew you were watching over me. I don't know how things are going to change, but I'll keep painting. I'll help dad take care of Amy. I'll take everything you've given me and continue to love our family. I'm hopeful for the future. And all it took was a taste of the past.
I guess that's it. And that was so beautiful and sad. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That was a very, very moving game. <laughs> well, um, the link to the game is in the description if you guys want to play it yourself and maybe choose the different options to see what uh, what else we could have find out about uh, her or her uh, family. But yeah, now I have to blow my nose. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.